Welcome to RV and Travel Adventures. My name is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. I hope you're having a fantastic day, wherever you are. In this edition, I explore the latest iteration of the uh, Flagstaff Microlite 22 FBS. It's very similar to the Rockwood Mini Light 2205S. They both come off the same assembly line. The unloaded vehicle weighs 5,004 pounds and its cargo carrying capacity is a whopping 1,686 pounds. Its exterior length is 23 feet 10 inches and its freshwater capacity 52 gallons. I saw this unit at Explorer USA RV Supercenter in Fort Worth, Texas. They are some of the nicest people in the known universe. Just for your information, I'm not uh, being paid by uh, Explore USA or Flagstaff to produce this video, so I'm just a regular guy just cruising around the lot on a beautiful Sunday in uh, Fort Worth, Texas, enjoying some uh, travel trailers. Beautiful travel trailers at that. I'm a big fan of the Microlite and the uh, Mini Light series. I find them to be fantastic. But what do you think? Again, it was a beautiful winter day in Fort Worth, Texas. Here's a front shot of the Microlite. Again, this is a 22 FBS, 2021 and a half model. It has a molded front cap, tinted automotive windshield, twin uh, 30 pound propane tanks, power tongue jack, and an area there where you can put two batteries. Again, this unit is fresh from the factory, fresh from uh, Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> That's where they make all these things, don't they? Right there is uh, your uh, potable water fill. That's where you fill it up with water. It's a gravity feed. Here's a photo of the slide. Of course, you see the Jealousy awning style windows. Let's take a quick peek under this unit. Right there is the uh, drain for the fresh water. So like when you're doing some winterizing, and there's the uh, Heated and enclosed underbelly. Of course, this unit has tank heaters, upgraded uh, torsion suspension, and rack and pinion slide mechanism. No cheap, cheap, cheap <laughs> slide mechanism. A powerful slide mechanism. Here we can see some of the utilities, including the water heater, various uh, water, black tank flushes, and winterizing connections. Of course, a couple uh, antenna connections. Very, very nice. Very conveniently located right there. As we pan down, there's a 30 amp connection. This only has one AC unit, so you should have no problems. And of course, there's uh, the water here. You have to go in there once in a while and uh, take out some of the critters. I really like those rims. And of course, the Goodyear Endurance tires are a big upgrade over last year's tires, the cheap tires. There are your dumps, your gray and your black. And of course, another shot of them a uh, very nice suspension system. As I back up, you can see the uh, bumper where you can store your uh, stinky slinky. Very nice and convenient location. And on the roof, you can see on the right there the uh, Wi-Fi Ranger and antenna. Some uh, RVs will get the new Teton all-in-one Wi-Fi booster LTE prep and antenna. And there's your AC unit and a very nice roof indeed. The current iteration of uh, Microlites come in two inter, you know, color choices. This one comes in the uh, white fiberglass. Of course, it's laminated with uh, Asdale. Has a thousand watt uh, inverter. Uh, nice uh, hitch there that can handle 300 pounds, basically for bicycle racks, stuff like that. And back there is your outdoor shower. So again, this is the month of January, 2021, and uh, inventories are quite, uh, bad at this point there's a, not very many uh units on the lot typically they have about you know a good dozen or two of uh, these uh micro lights super lights uh, classics etc on the lot but they only have a few here and there there's a heater exhaust antenna and uh, receptacle and a rail for your table or grill and inside here that's where they store the units uh the table and the grill on the right side you get the tools uh, very nice tools and they have little magnets to hold them. And right there's the uh, box holding the grill. And you have some accessories back there. Let me back up again so you can see that uh, automotive style uh, front windshield. Don't forget I was at Explore USA RV Supercenter. If you have any questions, I would call the dealership or the manufacturer. Leave your comments below. Maybe one of our uh, subscribers uh, is an expert 
He has one of these. Maybe they can answer some of your questions. Thank you very much ahead of time. So finally, we're going to go inside. But first, we've got to take a peek at the Moron Step Above Steps. I absolutely love these steps. They reduce the amount of bounce and jounce as you go in and out, in and out. To the left, there's that uh, DC fridge, a shot of the uh, bathroom and of the interior. You get a full-size queen bed in this unit, a 60 by 80 queen. Plenty of storage down there. I lift this up. If I can lift it up, you can lift it up too. And they have, uh, you know, it's framed in aluminum, not some cheap wood, and it's nice plywood. It's pretty deep right there. And you also get three drawers, so you can put all your stuff, important stuff, vital stuff, right there. And again, that's a 60 by 80 bed. Let's go take a peek up here. Uh, you can see the uh, vents for the air conditioning unit, very nice vents. And you get pleated shades. I don't like pleated shades myself, but they do offer, as an option, roller blinds. I would get them. You have some receptacles right there, USB and 110, and also against the uh, headboard, you have some more receptacles on both sides. Very nice. Here's your shirt closet, and of course you have some uh, storage up there. Some units don't offer that storage up there. Very nice, and you get a pleated shade to cover your uh, front windshield. Right here is a nicely boxed uh, drawer. Down there you get the in-cabinet heating. That's uh, preferred by many over in floor so you don't get all that junk in the floor and then all of a sudden it gets nice and toasty and stinky. You don't want it stinky in your travel trailer. Good size TV and of course has the Go Power system uh, right there. There's a head unit with two speakers. And right above it, of course, the big screen TV right across from the easy chairs. I love it. I love watching TV. I love watching the news and sports. One thing mini lights and micro lights are famous for is their storage and also their excellent kitchens. Solid surface countertops, full extension metal drawer glides, plywood boxed. Very nice solid wood door fronts. Uh, Sort of looks like uh, oil rub bronze hardware. Sort of looks like it. It's just dark. I don't know. Let me open this uh, bifold uh, cover that also doubles as uh, a prep area. Let me get this paper out here. We don't want to start a fire. So you got a three burner cooktop with a very nice uh, cast iron grates. This travel trailer gives you a really good size oven. A 21 inch oven. You can cook some uh, small turkeys in there. Some cookies, some cakes, some pies, some chicken, whatever you want to do. You can bake it in there, grill it in there. Why not? And you get a two bowl stainless steel sink, not some cheap plastic sink. Uh, it's a stainless steel sink. Nice faucet too. Let me cover it up. Again, I really like their drawers, all metal glides, plywood box construction, solid wood door fronts and very stylish handles here. This one is significant. You can put some significant pots and pans, uh, whatever you want in there. You can hide stuff in there and no one will ever find them because it's so large. As you enter the unit, the, to the left there is the uh, closet because those drawers can be moved or it can be a storage area. You can put some important items down there and way, way, way on the bottom uh, is an area where you can put your shoes or a you know, it's, again, it's up to you what you want to put down. I think it's, I call it a shoe garage down there. Let's pan around. I'm going to get a little bit dizzy. Down there is a receptacle. Again, solid surface countertops. And right here, you can control your slide outs, your lights, your awnings right there. And of course, if you have the, the new uh, Wii RV app, you can do it from your phone. There's a shot of the microwave and some nice storage up there. This specifically is a larder or your dry goods storage where you can put your canned and packaged goods. Of course, it has three levels of storage. Uh, what would you put in there? It goes way back there. It goes about a good two and a half feet. So it's a significant storage down here. It's blocked. I guess there's some uh, important items back there that when you need to fix them, you can move that little panel and get to it. This is where they cheaped out. They got a budget analog thermostat. They should put a nice digital one, something I can, you know, be more exact instead of just, uh, it's almost 
72 degrees, it might be 75, it might be 80, it might be 65, I don't know. So here's the stars of the show. I love them. These two uh, very nice easy chairs. My wife can sit in one. I can sit in one. Again, I call this a very nice couples camper. Get uh, an area there for two cups, receptacles, uh, you know, USB and alternating current. Very nice. And of course, you can recline to your heart's content. And here I go. I'm relaxing. Have my mask on again. It's we're in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic and folks were walking around a lot. I wanted to make sure uh, to protect myself. In fact, I had two masks on at the same time. I'm playing with the cups and uh, where the receptacles are. And I'm going to recline right here. The ejector seat. Wow, you can go back quite a ways. And again, this is the perfect TV watching position. I love TV. My wife hangs out with a bunch of academics. They say they never watch TV, but when the Super Bowl's coming, they come to my house and they want the free popcorn. They want the free chips, the nachos. They want the enchiladas. They want the free cerveza. They're here watching TV. So you have options. So you can read this and pause this at any time. It has some information about uh, what's available currently. You have the alternating current propane refrigerator or this one, the 12 volt larger 10 cubic foot uh, fridge. I think it's a definite upgrade. There's a freezer section right there. It has a lot of storage. Again, plenty of storage in this beautiful, absolutely gorgeous 12-volt refrigerator. It only sips energy, just a tiny bit. It's a teetotaler when it comes to uh, energy. It just wants just a little bit. Nice storage in the doors. And right there, uh, cooling its heels, is a tire pressure monitor. But what do you think? Do you like this uh, DC fridge or would you prefer an old school AC propane fridge? Let me lock it up right here. It's a little lever. So when you're in transit, it stays closed. Don't forget to support this channel today by going to my Patreon page. Go to patreon.com slash jmmgarza.com. I'm starting to promote my Patreon page to get an extra few bucks here and there uh, so I can buy some more camera equipment and maybe do some travels uh, to shoot more RVs. Maybe go to Indiana. Up top there we got the Maxer fan with rain cover and this is where you store all your linens, your towels, uh, important stuff for the uh, bed I think and also for the restroom. Very nice. Porcelain foot flush toilet. Not a plastic toilet, a porcelain foot flush toilet. I appreciate that. It's easier to clean and less germs and less hassle. Here's the AquaView shower miser system. It's uh, right there and you can take showers and save some water. Very nice. I stood in this. I had a couple inches extra. I'm 5'10", 175 pounds, and I had no problem in there. There's a plastic sink. They can always upgrade that eventually to a stainless steel sink. I hope in the future the folks at Rockwood and Flagstaff do. There's some receptacles and no storage back here. Must be some important stuff hidden there. That's where you put your toothbrushes and your cup. And there I am with my mask, shooting with my little action camera and, and gimbal. Very nice. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much. And please leave your kind and friendly comments uh, below the description. Again, thank you very much. This has been a review, a simple walkthrough of Flagstaff uh, Microlite. And it's also a companion of the uh, Mini Light. Thanks for watching RV and Travel Adventures. My name is Jesus Manuel Menegarza from Fort Worth, Texas. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.